Hey y'all, it's me, your favorite bae. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. So, ciao. Don't mind my bonnet, okay? I'm in my sleepwear. And I'm not going to tell you if this is going to be on the website or not. You'll just have to see this. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, I was minding my own business, okay? Yes, she was. And I'll show you what I was doing. And I'm kind of glad what happened happened because now I can film the whole process. So, this is what happened, y'all. All of this right here. Yes, you guys. All of that, I just took out of my closet. I was like, I am about to revamp my whole wardrobe. And I am going to start fresh, with the exception of a few pieces. And I am going to build my wardrobe for who I am now. That bitch. <laughs> Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, them edges is kind of all sleep. Okay, anyway. So, as I said, I got a knock at the door. Girl, they was knocking on the door like they was coming for me for a warrant or something. I mean, just knocking very hard. Yes, they were. And so, I go to the door, and it was that thing right there. No, not the wig that's supposed to be on my head. The package. So... We're going to go ahead and we're going to open that thing. And then you guys can kind of go through all of this right here with me. And then we'll kind of go through a brief synopsis of how I want my closet to be or what I'm trying to do to it. Or we'll figure things out together. Love you, babes. One second. Let me finish. Lord knows I need to. It's one o'clock afternoon, but don't just me y'all. Okay, so we're gonna open this package. And I'm gonna need y'all to bear with me because a sister is everywhere. Kind of figured it was these. Yay! They're here, you guys. I'm looking like an ancient mammy for real, y'all. <laughs> I know y'all understand. Some days we just have those days. This is definitely one of those lazy days that I have a lot of work to do, but I really just want to be able to lounge and be comfortable. I didn't want to worry about a wig or no nails, no makeup, so I made sure my lashes was on point, and I moisturized these lips a little bit. So let's see what this is, you guys. I wonder if any of you guys know what it is before I can even take it out. This is a size extra large. Told y'all, my fluffy girls, we gotta we gotta stay fit too. So this is how it looks. Isn't that so cute? This is an extra large. All right, y'all, so this is it. I just love it. It does have a little bit of stretch for a little bit of, give you a little bit of flexibility. But for the most part, it's not stretchy to where um, it won't do what it's supposed to do, which is tighten the muscles. Now, I 
the waist pattern. So I kind of want to try a large or a medium. I have some black ones down here too, you guys. So we got some black ones. I don't know. I want to go with the pink or. So you guys don't know if I should go with a pink or a black. Because, honey, child, I need something, okay? Now, I do have some waist trainers, don't get me wrong, but I need to start utilizing them all. This is a large, you guys. And they forgot to put a sticker on this one, so I don't know. Okay, here goes one. So what do you guys think? What do you like better? Black or pink? You know I love my pink. I don't know why. Pink and white and gold are my favorite colors. So I think I'm going to go with the black. And <laughs> my baby's knocking at the door, y'all. Let's go with the black. And it's going to be a large. Now bear with me, y'all. Let me try this on. So I can give y'all an in-depth review. Oh, how do I like it? If I like it. Why I like it. Now this one will be my personal. keep one of everything that I order not only for you know the purposes of me enjoying what I ordered what I bought but also to keep me up on what I've ordered so that in the future if I need to order something again, I'll know by keeping samples of everything that, okay, this didn't sell good or this, or, you know, that type of thing. It's just something for myself mentally that I felt I need to do. So I'll always keep one of everything just for that purpose. I love this, y'all. It feels very good. It feels like it's supposed to feel like it has everything where it should be um I really like it I love the texture of it it kind of gives you a latex slash velvet feeling um but again I love how it feels comfortable there's no wiring going up the waist trainer that's stabbing me or poking me so let me try to sit down you guys I'll go over this way to my stool and then we can kind of see how it feels when I sit down if it's gonna roll up okay I just 
just sat down. You guys, it's not rolling up. Look at that. Sorry. Look at that, y'all. It didn't roll up. I love it. You guys know, especially girls that are curvy like me and thick like me, when you buy waist trainers sometimes and you sit down, them things roll up. They roll up your back and then, you know, you got a half top for a waist trainer because it done rolled up, honey. Then you got a little bit of your muffin top hanging out the bottom and it be looking all crazy. So this is, I really like the fact that It's not rolling up. Like, that is amazing. I can't believe this. So, this is definitely a keeper. We're definitely going to keep this. I love it. I'm going to keep this on. Should I keep it on now? Oh, all right. I love it. Great, great, great investment. Great product. Um, I knew I was going to be happy because I've ordered other products through them before. Um, so I am appreciated, and I will make sure after because right now they're on um, Chinese festival festivities so I believe it's like Chinese New Year so after the two weeks is up they will be back to work and back in the factories and there was a little ASMR woman and um, after they come from like I said the festivities and stuff then be able to order again. So right here, you guys, this is where I'm going to be keeping some of the inventory that um, that I'll be having. So I'm going to go ahead and just place those in there just like that. I'll probably put the black ones down here. Keep the pink ones there. These are the money bags, a couple headbands. This is where I keep the new items. And I'll also be doing like the little try on hauls of all of my collection. Um, and then, you guys, I need to really buy more things for storage purposes because honey child that's going to fill up fast over there okay that's going to fill up real fast and right here honey this just looks like a hot mess it just doesn't look as organized as I would like it to look um it's not messy you know this is my whole little filming area my office area my shipping area my studio area so I'm improvising, you know, out of my bedroom, y'all. So uh, any other mommy do that? Oh my God. <laughs> Keep the formula in the water next to the bed so you ain't gotta get up. Girl, please. Don't even tell that lie, girl. You know you done did it. So yeah, I just don't like how it looks. And that's like one, two, three, four, five sets of Two pieces along with some rows. So inventory is definitely coming in. And then we have a drawer full of things in here that I don't want to pull out because I don't want nothing to fall from up here. And then we have, you know, more headbands. So <sighs> inventory is coming in and I'm running out of places to keep it or to put it it I do know wherever it's stored it's going to be safe it's going to be protected and everything will definitely be covered 
especially due to the COVID. Everybody wants to feel safe and know that. Um, so I just discovered that I was not recording after probably about 15, 10, 15 minutes. Anyway, this was a church skirt, and it had a jacket to it, and the jacket got destroyed, but I decided to keep the skirt. I love the details in it, but I'm going to go ahead and give it away. I think this is, oh, this is lovely. Yeah. tassel shirt and got the little ridges on the side. This is Express, I think. I could be wrong. Very wrong. This is for the 21. And this is like a nice little lounging, sexy one. You just dress. I was going to say one piece. <laughs> but um, just like a little dress. So comfy, so elegant, nice on my skin, but I think I'll go ahead, oh my god, you guys, should I throw it, yeah, I'll throw it, the colors are throwing me off, it's like a metallic gold. Another nice little top. I know you guys are wondering why the hell I got these tops when I was a community health worker and I worked at an insurance company. These are some of the clothing that I wore because I had to be a professional. And a lot of times I went out to the homes of my clients. Um, of most of my clients were pregnant women. So I would go to their homes and I would just give routine visits and offer the incentives like health insurance, obviously, because I work for a health insurance company. And also, um, I would give them gift certificates for making sure they made it to all their appointments. And um, I would give them um, gift cards to get the baby things like diapers and formula and so I had to really be on my shit. I, I kind of like dressing professional and it was like real grown woman's sleek, your heels, your skirts, your, you know, your jackets, your, so, but then honey, I switched out of that world, honey, and I became a business owner soon after because at that time I was still nursing too so look at this I don't left the tag from the cleaners on this this is just like a uh, mini dress mini skirt yes honey Tori get down and dirty too girl I put on my little outfits honey and go to hit the town too sometimes now little blazer jacket don't sleep don't sleep like Tori you've been looking real crazy for a couple months <laughs> she really wears shit like that another little blazer jacket this just tells y'all the type of work I, I did, the type of life I had to have, this is really, I know a lot of times I see vlogs like this and the girls be going through their closet and honey, it be hoochie mama dresses and booty shorts and thongs and you be like, well, God, and here it is, I'm showing y'all fucking corporate <laughs> attire. <laughs> Whatever, Tori. This is a dress. A long dress, and I, you know, nothing wrong with this. Just something to wear to the to the office, to, to a church function. 
And here's the two piece, you guys. Church slash the office. I, I really miss my cubicle. And having my little cubicle all set up and my pictures of my babies and at that time I only had two. I actually love this sweater. It's American Sweater Company. But um now I'm thinking I don't even know how the hell, how the hell, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, I actually love this sweater, you guys. Like, who doesn't like, like, you could, you know, put your little jean jacket on and you got your little kind of turtleneck, you know what I mean? And then you zip it down a little bit. It goes, oh, that's how it goes. This ain't the one I thought it was. I'm not going to keep it, get rid of it. So here goes my smocks from when I was nursing. I was a CNA, you guys. I was a CNA for about five years before I moved to Georgia. Um, and then once I moved to Georgia, I wasn't doing the CNA. And that's how I let my license collapse accidentally and I just started to do um, PCA personal care assistant which you really don't have to have a CNA or a nursing's license to do you just have to take the training to be able to obtain the position so little cut pants who else cuts their pants and make them into shorts and all that? Y'all yeah, don't know nothing about it. Just a quick little sheer top. Okay, you guys. I actually, this is nothing really. Should I keep this shirt? I mean. wear it with a nice jean. Business meeting. I think I'll keep this will be one of the cute items. I loved this top when I first got it because I was searching for a colored top this color for so long because my at the time man have bought me a coach purse and a wallet with the belt and I couldn't find anything so when I found this I was so happy and it looked so good with my purse and my belt and it just was so nice and then my purse was stolen so I had a lot of things come up missing, um, come up stolen from me due to individuals being envious or jealous. I remember um, I had these raw ass boots, DB boots, and they have diamonds on them and they zipped up and they were knee high and I think they were like five or six hundred dollar boots and I wore them a couple of times and um, my cousin I don't know if she ripped the boot intentionally or cut the boot but she sliced the boot but the rhinestones were gone off one of the boots on the side and it was slit some type of way and I was just like If it's only me and you that's up in this house, aside from, at the time, my like five, six-year-old daughter, why is my boot ripped? I mean, tell me something. Tell me anything. 
But what you're not going to do is say you don't know what happened to my shit. So. Was it the same room, the same time my purse just magically came in and out my house? I went to go look for something in my purse. And you ever get to looking for some shit and you're like, how do a whole purse come up missing? Like a whole entire purse just gone. Telling y'all, watch who you call your friends and your family. This little sweater dress. This speaking you call all day, honey. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of her. I am just such a clothing whore. Like it's hard for me to depart from my shit. Half of this shit I don't really mind getting rid of because, like I said, I was working in office and I ain't in office no more. For you know, I work for myself. I ain't in office no more for you, boo. Okay, I'm doing my own thing. Bless your heart, God bless you for giving me a position and allowing me to eat. For however long I ate, and say, but now let me tell you, who fucks true religions up like this? Who does that? No, what I was thinking. I, I did a uh, girl. I'm gonna go through that. So I am done with this bullshit, y'all. I'm kind of glad and I feel good already. Um, I feel accomplished. And I feel like I'm letting go. That's what it is, you guys. I'm le Wait, did this motherfucking thing still ain't rolled up, girl. Hold on now. Sweetie, sweetie. Girl, it ain't stabbing me. It ain't rolled up. And you y'all know my booty big. And you know, usually them things be whoop, like a fruit roll up. It has not rolled up. Alright, you guys, so I'm finally done. Look at the things that the Lord has done for me. I finally made it. Said I finally made it. I'm done. I made it through these clothes, honey. Get these things out of my face. Now, y'all, let's see. What else I need to do in this closet because I might just come back to it another time because we ain't going to put all that in this one video, okay? I ain't going to hold y'all that long. So I think that, let me turn right over here because y'all, y'all, just y'all, look, 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 I need help. When I tell you your girl need help, look, everything is a mess. Don't talk about my sink. Yes, I need to clean it, honey. I just got shit everywhere. Just shit. Just shit. Just shit. Just damn. Leave a comment down below on how you keep yourself from impulse buying impulse shopping i'm glad i'm getting rid of some of this shit i i just i feel like my life is gonna roll so much easier i'm gonna be so much more comfortable and with all the new success i have i just feel like it's necessary
All right, guys, so I'm going to go through these two bags here, and I'm going to see what I'm going to give away in these two bags. The stuff in these two bags is what should have been... I should have gotten rid of the, these two bags when I got rid of the other two bags a couple months ago. But I didn't. And that lets me know that I was going to try and creep back through the bags and pull stuff back out of them like I just did with this stuff. So, I got a whole, here's all my little cutoff jeans. Anybody got a section of cutoff jeans? Just your lounge pants, your lounge stuff. So y'all, can y'all look, this is all I have left. And these are just tops. I love my tops. The spring is coming soon. Everybody know in Georgia, the spring hits on time, honey. So end of February, early March, it'll be 70, 80 degrees. So I love my little tops. I love a top and a jean. You know, I'm in, I'm, I'm, look, I'm not an old bitch, but I ain't young either. So I do need to keep some pieces that are respectable to my age, I guess. I don't know, bitch. I don't, shit, I'm trying out. <laughs> so, you know what I want to do, you guys, since I'm working on my wardrobe, I want to, I'm going to order as soon as I'm done with this vlog, I am going to order some hangers. Some cute hangers from Amazon. And we're going to get our life together. So, you guys, for my little dressy business shirts, I just kept a couple. You know I love ivory. I love white. I love nude. So, just an express and a limited shirt. And all of these, I don't know why in the hell I have so many glitter tops. I just figured that out. Wait a minute. What the hell was I going through? Wait, what's this? Wait. Hmm. Look at all these glitter tops. And I think they're all express. Look at this, y'all. No clue why I have all these glitter tops. Must have been going through a phase. This one is like a um, Charlotte Ruse or a Ferris one. Top. What? I never really paid attention to that. Hmm. So now we know I love glitter. <laughs> But we know everything that glitter ain't gold, baby. So keep that in mind, too. This the glass ain't always green on the other side. No, it's not. Girl. Look at all these express sparkly ass shirts. Was it a sale? I don't know. I have no clue. But I love, as I said, all these types of tops are good with, like, a jean and a nice, um, sandal or a nice small heel you just gotta it's not what you wear it's how you wear it you just gotta know how to move around I love this sweater you guys because it gives you the illusion of a spaghetti strap but then the sleeves fall off the shoulder so then you have the spaghetti strap and then you have the shirt like hanging off the shoulder so you definitely want to keep you a nice shirt like that to wear with some jeans and I kept this little wet seal blazer just because it's always good to have some type of blazer in your closet. I don't know why I can't get rid of this shoulder out jean, oversized jean shirt. I just love how it looks with certain pieces. And I've worn it like two or three times, but I'm still going to keep it. This is a cute little lounging skirt, so I'm going to keep that too. Of course, you got your little summer dresses. Yeah, then all of these are just dresses, long, long dresses. You know, you gotta keep, you gotta keep your sundresses, ladies. Whether they long, short, you 
got to keep you some sundresses on deck for summertime just to comfortable, you know. So I feel good because I've let go of pieces I have had literally for years. And I've been here in Georgia for six years, and I'm just now getting rid of this. I'm getting rid of these bags, y'all. I'm not keeping it. Um, and then on another video, I'll have to go through my other closet, which is in the front, by the front door, because I have way more clothes in there. Fur coats, jackets, hoodies. So we're going to go through that closet another day.